Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Juicy Tingles. Okay, I have a good one for you all today. Um, happy Wednesday, also known as Happy Hump Day. And what I'm going to be doing today with you all is I'm going to be eating my lunch, and I'm going to be doing the second part of the Q&A that I started. Okay, so I want to give a big thank you to Miss Colette. She sent me 25 questions. So I thank you so very much for that response because um, I did ask for people to, you know, leave me some questions and she left me 25. So thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. So, um, and what I'm going to be eating is I'm going to be eating a roast beef. So, okay. And I'm going to be having some Hershey Cheetos with it. And it comes with barbecue sauce, but I want to try it with Thousand Island dressing just to see what happens. And of course, I'm having some red Kool Aid. Let's get started. Let me ask one question first, then I'll get started eating the lunch. Uh, okay, it says, who is your favorite mukbang person? Okay, and I'm sad about this, um, but Wendy's eating show, um, she was actually one of my favorite uh, mukbangers, um, and here recently, she... Well, if you want to know what happened with that situation and why I'm sad about it, go over to my uh, vlog channel called Eyes Right Now. I did a video called Quitting YouTube. I'll link it below so that you can check it out. So that, I, I don't want to really get into it right here right now. But Wendy's Eating Show, that was my all-time favorite. Okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this on the end of my sandwich because I don't want to put it on the whole sandwich and end up not liking it. So I'll just put a little bit right there on the end. Hmm. I like that. Thousand dollar in dressing and a roast beef salad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my meat off and put some inside. And it's not just sitting on top of the bread. I mean, on top of the meat. I put a little bit on top, but not a lot. But that is really good. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's just keep this moving. Okay, this says, how do you decide your nail color? Okay. It depends on what time of year it is, okay? You saw it's in the winter time or in the colder months, I generally go with dark colors. Um, in the summer months, I go with bright and springy colors. Like, I want to be, like, in your face with it. Like, I like fluorescent orange or, or the highlighter type green or 
yellow or hot pink, like any bright, vibrant, springy colors is what I go for when it's warm. And then in the winter, of course, dark colors, blue, burgundy, brown, black, kind of green. So that's how I decide. And sometimes I go through my own um, nail polish collection and pick my colors out because otherwise I would never get to, to use my polishes because I go to the nail shop. So all those polishes that I have, I would never get to use them. So I try to remember to pick out my own color and take it with me. But if not, then I'll just pick, you know, from what they have. Okay, next question. Let me check these off. Same question. All right. Next question. What is, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Now, some of these I may have to, you know, come back to. Um, favorite bird. What is your favorite bird? I like parakeets. Um, I love parakeets. And I, I must say, yeah, parakeets are my favorite. But I also like finches. Because finches sound a little different than birds. Birds have the, I'm sorry, have the regular, you know, whistling or tweet sound. But finches have these little teeny noises, and it's like the best noise in the morning time. Like, I love them, and they're, I, I love it. But parakeets are my all time favorite. A bird. Okay. It says, do you like winter or summer? I like summer. Because I love, I love when it's really sunny and warm and you can wear your sandals, you have your toes all polished pretty and the vibrant, beautiful colors. Like, I love it. The trees are really pretty in the summer. So summer is my favorite time of year. Okay. Cats or dogs? Definitely dogs because I am totally afraid of cats. Like, it's a long story that cannot be made short. <laughs> I, I can't do cats. Um, your favorite religion? I don't have a favorite religion. Um, I'm not religious. I'm more spiritual, so I don't I don't really have a, f a favorite religion. But I will tell you that coming up, growing up, my family was Catholic, and then when I got to be like a teenager, my mom converted over to Baptist, and so you know, I, I converted over to Baptist with my mom. I was you know I was young, um, but I don't have a favorite religion. But those are the religions that I was raised up with. Um, favorite color. My favorite color is blue, okay? I love blue. Um, midnight blue is my all-time favorite. Like any kind of dark, dark blue. Like the color I have on now is blue. Well, you might not can't see it because of the colors on my nails, um, the designs on my nails. But this is like a midnight blue underneath of the, the daisy. Okay. It says thoughts on premarital sex. Hmm. Well, that's a good one. Um, my personal thoughts on it is <laughs> you gotta test drive the car before you buy it. I mean, I'm, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I'm not against anybody who, you know, likes to be married first before sex. But yeah, I, 
<laughs> Got to test, test drive the car before you buy it. That's, that's my thing. So I'm not against it at all. Um, let's see. Your favorite food. I apologize. Speaking of birds, that's my perky. It's something about when I do a video this time of day in the room where he is. I don't know if he's talking back to me or what. What? What is it, Tweety? What's the matter? <laughs> she looking at me. <laughs> um. Okay, favorite food. I have a few. But my all-time favorite is spaghetti and meat sauce. That's my all-time favorite. Now, I have some other favorites that come right behind that, and that would be tacos and pizza. So, those are my three. Okay. It says, favorite TV show. Okay. I'm kind of old school, so I have a few favorite TV shows, but one of my all-time favorites was The Beverly Hillbillies. I absolutely loved The Beverly Hillbillies. The grandma, like, I loved her. Like, she was hilarious. That was my all-time favorite TV show. Um, I don't really have one now, today, um, simply because I don't watch TV a whole lot, you know? I, I don't watch a whole lot of TV. My TV is YouTube, you know? When I'm not creating my own videos, I'm actually watching some of you all's videos who, who do videos. Yeah, but YouTube is pretty much my TV. Um, I'm not saying I never watch TV, but mostly when I watch TV nowadays, I'm usually watching Fox 45 News. Excuse me. Um, or MSNBC. Just finding out what's going on in the world. You know, with the president and all the different things that's happening. That's pretty much what I watch nowadays. I used to watch a lot of reality shows, but I had to get away from that drama. Because for some reason, like I said, I'm a very spiritual person, and I think that whatever you fill your spirit with, that's what's going to come out. And those reality shows, as much as I love them, I loved all the drama and everybody was fighting and doing everything. But if you keep ingesting that into your your being, you know what I mean? Like it's going to come out some kind of way. So I had to pull away from watching a lot of that stuff because mostly all of them were drama filled. But um, Little Women of, was it Atlanta? The one with the, 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 the little lady, her name was Juicy. I love that show. I think it was Little Women of Atlanta. I used to love that show. But everybody got drama. No matter if they short, tall, regular, white, black, it doesn't matter. I used to watch um, Real Housewives of Orange County, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of Atlanta, like everybody. It doesn't matter what color you are. Everybody had drama. Everybody fighting. So, I don't watch those shows anymore. Love and hip hop. Oh, I used to, oh my gosh, I used to love that. Okay. I'm going to elaborate on that question long enough. Okay. Favorite holiday. Okay. My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving, okay? I love ham. I just love the combination of Thanksgiving traditional food. Um, sauerkraut, macaroni and cheese, ham, greens, sweet potatoes, turkey. Did I say stuffing? Like, I just love that that combination. Um, and you can pretty much get that at Thanksgiving time. The sweet potato pies, the pumpkin pies. Like, I, I just like Thanksgiving. It's like my all-time favorite. That's just, that's just that. Um, favorite ice cream flavor. I love butter pecan. 